So this is my 3D printer. It's a Velamin K8200. Uh, a few months ago, I upgraded to this direct drive extruder that Velamin sells. I think it's like the K8203 upgrade. It worked pretty well, but I did some more research online and I found a, a E3D V6 hot end that apparently works a lot better. So I'm going to be upgrading this uh, extruder with a with uh, using the new uh, E3D V6 hot end so hopefully it works a little bit better uh, we'll see how it goes so I just finished taking apart the old extruder I'm going to be using some of the pieces again like the little bearing that the Velman crew used in theirs I'm going to be reusing some of the screws or bolts that are holding on to the stepper motor in the old assembly. And they're using this little guy right here to push the filament through. And just some other little pieces. So just basically anything that metal that I can't print I'm gonna be reusing from the old extruder. But yeah. So this is the extruder assembly I have designed. I'm using the program SolidWorks. Uh, here's the E3D V6 hot end I drew up pretty accurately. Um, and then the orange and blue pieces are going to be the ones that I am printing out on my printer for the new extruder. Again, I'm using a direct drive extruder. I have the compression spring there. I'm using a piece of uh, PTF tubing to keep it a little bit more secure in there because I print a lot with uh, flexible plastics like uh, Ninja Flex and I've been having a lot of issues with it kind of like squirting out the sides and stuff so I try to design an extruder that will hopefully work a little bit better with the flexible materials. I'm using pretty much all the same metal components like I said before out of a few different nuts and bolts I made it so you can easily exchange any uh, hot end pretty much should be able to fit in I can if you can look through there it's just basically all hot ends pretty much have this shape to them and I mean this blue piece that I just hit away that basically just pushes it into the area over there and kind of stays in place oh and this is not actually going to be like that I don't want to I made my own support material in SolidWorks because when you try generating it, I uh, using the program uh, Repetier, it doesn't do the best job making the support material, and I only want it in this one spot because it's going to be impossible to get out the support material in some of the other places. But I just drew it up, and I'm going to break it off after. So that's why it kind of looks weird. But yeah, we'll see if it works. So I just got some new Esun filament. I use Esun a lot. I like it a lot. It works really well with my printer. I got a nice orange color and a nice blue color that I think will look good together with the new extruder. So the good news is I put the extruder back together correctly because it's actually coming out which is pretty impressive. Got a little confused in the middle of putting it back together again but the new orange uh, e-sun filament looks really good actually. It's printing well. Got a pretty even first coat or first layer, but yeah, going good. So just finished printing. It looks pretty good. Got a little bit of over extrusion problem, I think, but who cares? I'm getting a new one anyways. Doesn't really matter, but looks pretty good. So I finished printing the entire extruder. It all came out really good. Somehow it's actually all fitting together too. I had to do a little bit of melting, some sanding, uh, a little bit of gluing, but it worked pretty well. I just have to wire up all the extra wires to the old extruder. I had to take my little thing apart right there to make it work, but hopefully everything works correctly. I did a bunch of test prints. That's a little cube I made over and over again to try finding the best layer height, best uh, extrusion multiplier. And then I printed a bigger thing after I found a pretty good extrusion multiplier and uh, layer height. 
an octopus. Came out pretty good. Still have some some weird little ridges I gotta get rid of, but worked pretty well. A little bit of a uh, lifting off the bed right there, if you can see it, because my box is not fully enclosed right now, so that might not help that well. But I think it's working really good, a lot better than my old extruder. Uh, the old extruder was using a 0.35 millimeter nozzle. This one's using a 0.25, and I think it's actually making a pretty big difference. So. We'll see if I can make it even better, but this was my new extruder uh, project and it worked pretty well.